So I posted up this whole story for you. But if you don't want to, like, watch all that shit, I'm going to just give you a bridge version so it's simpler and it's easier. But you can always go back and watch the videos 1 through 4. If it's, the, uh, it's the creator in PBS, and they're explaining you, explain to you the story, but I'll give you highlights from the story and explain to you what it was. So the story starts off in a time where Christianity was almost dying in Spain. There was just a little slither of an island left over, and that wasn't because of force. It was just because most people were Muslim. The common language was Arabic, and a lot of people were either Muslim, Jewish, or Christian. So this is what Muslims, and this is how far the reign was at a time. How I, how I do that? So, I gave you the short summary. This is like the epicenter of the world at that time. The city was called Corba, but Corba at that time was the largest in Europe. They had a rich culture, uh, flowing water, sewer systems, and kind of how Toledo is important for being very educational. This place is very important for having sewer systems because at the time, nowhere else in Europe did they have sewer systems. So it was sent to be heavenly. So yada yada yada. The city was like it was supposed to be really beautiful with aqueducts and all of that. Well, yes, this is good. Eventually, a 12-year-old boy was in charge. His advisor took over and strong-armed the business. Then started expanding Muslim rule in Spain. And that is important because it was the first war in Spain that was strictly based off religion. And the dude that did was, like, super evil. Like, took the church bell off Christian, then put them on the slaves, then hung the church bells up in the church. Because fuck them, I guess. Then that dude dies. His son takes over. They kill his son. Then Samuel, then the Nagig. He became the first Jewish person in powder in Granada over Muslim people was was unheard of. You know, since that was good, his son fucked up. The blame Jew massacre. But Jews still felt like being there in Spain was better than anywhere else in Europe. I guess that was just in the air. So while that shit was fucking up, Alfonso the Sixth took over Toledo. Now he was a Christian. However, he was a very good Christian. And all the good values and standards the more set up, he kept. So open religion, open practice. Then the rest of Europe was like, nah, big dog, we not feeling it. So that open religion shit you got going on in, in Spain and shit, yeah, that shit gotta go. But they was like, nah, man, they cool. You like Rome, don't you? So Spain had Jews and Muslims translate Romans like Homer. And the Iliad, even though it was from Europe, none of the Europeans could read it. So the Jews translated it. And that was cool, so they was fucking with them for a little bit. Shit, in the 12th century, it was like a little renaissance. This is where ancient Greek statues that are white come from. Actual Greek statues are painted. Shit, you have to know Arabic to learn Aristotle. So Rodrigo, Rodrigo, you get it. But you get it, he was on some fuck. He rewrote the story of Spain. He said it was every Christian duty to kill Muslims. The reason he did that, he was part of the crusade. 